Hey beeves and welcome back to Stop a Beaver 101. We are jumping right into a, a beaver Christmas series look two. I'm going into my deck of Scarlet edition number seven palette and I'm using the shades Starry Eyed and Bora Bora. Starry Eyed is more of a neutral, um, like cool tone, taupey color for my crease. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with Bora Bora, which is this nice shimmery, turquoisey um, seawater blue. And I'm just using two different blending brushes, obviously, to apply that to my crease. Now going in with the Pure Cosmetics My Little Pony palette. That's right, we're going back into this palette. I'm using the shade Rainbow Dash and I'm using my finger. I'm going to apply that all over my um, eyelid, including up into my crease a little bit as well. And I'm pretty sure Pure Cosmetics has a sale going on these palette, where these this palette and the next palette I'm gonna use from them, which is the DreamWorks Trolls palette. I believe it, they are $12 could be wrong I'm gonna leave the link to the palettes in the description box along with a 20% off um, coupon code so now I'm going into the DreamWorks palette like I said and I'm using the shades wisdom and fuzzy some of my favorite transition shades and I'm going to go over or sorry back into my crease and just blend that out a little bit make sure everything is blending seamlessly adding a little bit of warmth to my crease now I'm going into the shade um, Branch. It's like this navy blue, um, a little bit of green to it. It's really, really pretty and it's a shimmery color. I'm going to apply that to the inner part, sorry, the outer part and inner part of my eyes and leave the center with that rainbow dash color. I did go off camera and, and apply a little bit more rainbow dash on the center just to make sure that it's popping. I want to do use a different, like a bunch of different um, blues to help with, you know, bringing out the color and just, you know, give it some dimension so now I'm going in with the shade satin and chenille it's like this silvery purple shade and I use that in my crease so now I'm using the tutu turquoise I believe um pencil the what, from essence the liquid liner from essence and then also the what's that color called deco scarlet mascara and I did that off camera and now I'm going back in with branch to smudge my lower lash line so I'm going to take my Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Conceal in the shade Medium 28 and I'm going to draw the snowman on my face. I suck, when I say I suck, <laughs> with making sure I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing. I really need to work on it and get better. I promise you guys, I am working on, you know, working on my angles and angling my camera properly and all of that. Right now, I just uber suck and I'm doing it by myself. Not to mention, I'm trying to make sure my kids aren't bumping my tripod. So I'm doing a lot by myself, but I am trying to make it work with what I have. So right now I'm just basically drawing three circles for the snowman with the concealer as my base. So now I'm going in with Rarity from the My Little Pony palette. It's a pure white shade, and I'm going to just pat that on top of the concealer, not only to set the concealer, but that's going to be our color we're using, because, you know, snowmen are white, because snow are white. And to be honest, let's be real, this isn't a snowman, it's a snow girl or a snow gal, because I'm not a man. <laughs> so I'm calling it a snow gal tutorial. And I'm actually going over the lines that we created for the snowman shape, and you're going to see why in a little bit. And I'm just really building up the intensity of the white because I didn't want the brown of the concealer to come through. So now this looks like a blob and I'm also adding snow at the bottom so it looks like I'm, the snowman is sitting in a pile of snow if that makes sense. So now I'm going in with my Deck of Scarlet Throwback Liner and I just outlined where we um, had the concealer. I outlined it with the eyeliner. And now I'm going in with my face powder and as you can see, I'm basically erasing the excess white around the outline so that it doesn't look like one big white patch on my face. It has some dimension. 
So I'm just blending all the excess white that we no longer need, leaving the bottom so that it looks like a pile of snow that the snowman is sitting in. Now I'm just showing you guys what we have so far. And the reason the I like the drop the sorry how I um, outlined it isn't here in the clip I kind of lost the footage and when I found it I wasn't in frame so it didn't make sense so now I'm going in with my NYX crystal liner and I'm going to use that as my base I don't have a glitter glue as of right now um, I do have some that I want to try and pick up but I don't have one right now so I'm using a glitter liner as my base or glue before I apply that white glitter that I showed you I have no idea where I got it from I got it for Christmas like three years ago I'm really it's a nice glitter it's chunky um, but I have no idea where it's from. So just use whatever white or even silver glitter or reflective glitter that you have or glitter liner that you have. And now I'm just packing the glitter on. I did have to go back in with extra glue because I applied all the glue at once and then I tried to apply the glitter and some places were dry so the glitter was coming out patchy. So I did off camera go in and add some more um, glitter liner. I also added a little bit more of the pure white shade on top of the glitter just to give it a bit more, um, op what's the word, opacity? Opacity? Make sure it was opaque. <laughs> Now I'm going in with liner and I'm making sure that my buttons or my little coal stones on his stomach stand out. I'm going to draw the eyes and I'm also going to draw his little top hat. I just came up with a new name for my snow girl. Instead of Frosty the snowman, it's Frostina the snow gal. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> if you hear banging, that's my kids, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So now I'm going in with Fenty Beauty's Matte Moselle lipstick in the shade Saucy. And I'm going to use an eyeliner brush and I'm using this as my carrot shade. Or the shade I'm using as my carrot. And it's a good thing it's matte too. I didn't have to set it. So I'm just going to draw like a tiny little triangle. And then I'm going to outline it as well. So that you can see it and it's a lot more prominent. It doesn't fade into the white background. Ta-da, he has a nose. <laughs> so now I'm drawing his little stick arms and they weren't even or like they weren't the same, like um, they weren't on the same angle, but I did my best. So I'm proud of myself regardless. This is my first time going all out with a makeup look. So regardless, I'm proud, but just try and make sure yours are like, you know, even on both sides. So that's what we're working with. And now I'm gonna go on my other side of my face and I'm just putting three snowballs. Honestly, I felt like blue's clues on this side of my face. I don't even know why. <laughs> but I felt like a clue was on my face. But yeah, I'm using the same pure white shade. Just packing little um, fuzzy snowballs on my face. Going back in with that glitter liner and applying it in like little strokes. And then I'm gonna apply glitter on top of that as well. So now I'm going with the My Little Pony ColourPop highlighter. I can't remember the name, I think it's like Starlight. But it's this nice frosty peach color and I just applied a little bit onto my cheeks. I always have to wear highlighter, <laughs> that's just me. And you don't have to wear any, but I just applied a little bit just to add a little bit of glow to my face. My face is looking uber matte. So 
so now I'm going in with gloss and my camera cut off but this is the pure cosmetics and my little pony lip gloss topper in the shade rainbow dash it's this nice blue and that's it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up definitely stay tuned for episode 3 and I will see you in my next one bye